have a situation here in St. Bernard Parish that the parish leaders are watching very closely. Uh, we uh, understand that there are 22 barges that have broken loose and are now on the Mississippi River near mile marker 86. Earlier in the day, we were talking about two ferry boats that got loose. Now we're talking about 22 barges that got loose. And, early, and just a little while ago, we spoke with the parish uh, emergency operation manager, John Ram, about the situation. John, what can you tell us about the 22 barges in the Mississippi? Okay, well, this afternoon, President McGinnis asked me about 22 barges that broke loose, so I'm going to contact them. So I called the Coast Guard, the operations desk, and it was confirmed that 22 barges broke loose in the river this afternoon, approximately a half hour or so ago, at mile marker 87, which is uh, downriver from uh, PBF and right near Valero Refineries. They're currently still in the river. Uh, they cannot go out to try and secure them with this weather. Uh, don't know what's in them or where they came from or just what the circumstances were that led to them breaking loose. Now, what are your concerns about these barges in the river? Well, the major concern is maybe hitting a levee somewhere. That would be the biggest issue right now. Don't have any idea what's in the barges, but like I said, the biggest concern is whether or not they're going to strike a levee. But uh, at this point, I don't think it's going to happen with the way the river's not moving that fast. I think uh, we just got to get them secured as soon as possible. And you're also, your municipal water intake system is also along that side of the river. It's on the east bank, but it's further up. This is further down by the uh, refineries. What, are, what is the plan now to... to well, I don't know who's going to do that. The Coast Guard needs to get a hold of somebody to go out there and try and, uh, you know, get them together. But as far as we're concerned, we need to want to keep eyes on and make sure we know what's going on the whole way. Try and speed it up as soon as possible. Now, what do you make of this? We have those 22 barges, and then we also have the two ferry boats that got loose as well around 1.30 this afternoon. Right. Well, with this constant wind, it's been gusting up probably 90 miles an hour or so. Uh, with the moored, if it wasn't moored properly, they'd break away fairly easy. I don't know how the barges broke loose. They should have been lashed all together properly. But with this wind and rain coming down, anything's possible. I'll tell you, it is going to be a while before they can go wrangle those barges. I can tell you, just uh, we are experiencing the heaviest uh, rain and the highest winds that we have so far of the storm. It's even hard to stand up here, and I'm being protected by the parish government building here. I want you to take a look at one thing, if I could get you to zoom in down here. There's this tree that I'm watching at the end of this walkway that is bending over, that it looks like the wind is about ready to catch it. Uh, we've seen pieces of trees out here that are ripped off the trees. We've seen leaves as well. Uh, and you can only imagine what uh, areas in, in uh, eastern St. Bernard are going through right now with not only the wind and rain, but also the storm surge. We saw some dramatic video um, a little while ago from down in the Delacroix area that are already experiencing 12 foot storm surge. And I tell you, listening to Karen's report is just uh, very frightening. And unfortunately, um, this storm was supposed to be out of here by now, according to the uh, St. Bernard Parish leaders. And it's uh, gonna be probably morning before we really can tell the true damage from Ida. That's the story here in St. Bernard, Palmer Eyewitness News.